welcome to one of chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic atomic structure or structure of atom in this atomic structure topic i am going to discuss about de broglie's dual nature of matter in upset je means and neat point of view so idi upset je means le the neat ప్రిపేర్ అవుతున్న వాళ్ళకి ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూలో ఈ డీబ్రోగ్లీస్ డ్యూల్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాటర్ మీద అసలు డీబ్రోగ్లీస్ డ్యూల్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాటర్ ఏంటి అండ్ వీటి మీద బిట్స్ ఎలా వస్తున్నాయి అన్నది ఈ వీడియోలో మనం డిస్కస్ చేయబోతున్నాం థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ త్రినాథ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాసెస్ ప్లీజ్ లైక్ ద వీడియో షేర్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ ది ఛానల్ light or radiation has dual nature has a dual nature so manaki light to ledha radiation ki dual nature undi ani manaku telusandi dual nature ante enti wave nature and as well as particle nature wave and particle nature so ee nature ne manu antunnam dual nature ani cheptunnam don't know dual nature ani cheptunnam so in 1924 in 1924 De Broglie. De Broglie proposed that proposed that an electron an electron like light behaves both as particle behaves as behave both as a mat material particle and as a wave material particle and a wave that is the matter also shows dual nature that is material uh, particle nature as well as as well as wave nature particle nature as well as wave nature so any matter of uh, the like particles like electrons behaves like uh, shows dual nature that is they have particle nature as well as wave nature particle nature as well as wave nature so as per as this de broglie's dual nature of matter the electrons protons and even atoms when in motion so electrons protons and even atoms also when they are in motion when they are in motion they show wave properties along with particle properties they possess wave properties wave properties and he has derived he has derived an expression to calculate the wavelength of these particles which are showing dual nature from the planck's quantum theory we know that planck's quantum theory is planck's quantum theory according to planck's quantum theory e is equal to h in and uh, from einstein's equation from einstein's equation we know that e is equal to mc square and uh, from these two equations we can write h in is equal to mc square and we know that uh, where h is the planck's constant mu is the frequency of light m is the mass of the mass and c is the velocity of light h c by lambda and this is mc square if we solve h by x right if a particle is if it is for light if a particle is moving with velocity v if a particle is velocity v then lambda is given by lambda is equal to h by x lambda is equal to h by m lambda is equal to h by m this equation we are calling it as the de broglie's equation so this is the one expression of the de broglie's de broglie's equation one expression of the de broglie's equation we know that we know that momentum linear momentum is given by it is denoted with p it is given by p is equal to m p is equal to m so here lambda is equal to h by p. lambda is equal to h by p this is another expression so manaki objective point of view lo ee formulas anni upayogapadtayi right so manaku ipe point lo tisukunte only a statement maatrame avasaram but objective point of view lo tisukunte ekana kandi vitu meda ela vastayi anadi ippudu after a few minutes tarvata manam chodabothunnam lambda is equal to h by mb ugati lambda is equal to h by p ugati then we know that kinetic energy of a particle of mass m and 
uh, velocity v is given by half mv square. Then if I multiplied and divided with the m, and this I am writing it as m v whole square is equal to 2 m. Then this is nothing but p square is equal to 2 m. Then p is equal to square root of 2 m into kinetic energy. 2 m into kinetic energy. So if I substitute this value in this expression, h by 2 m into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy square root of. So, right. So, from this, what we can conclude is one uh, uh, wavelength of light is universally proportional to its kinetic energy. This is the another expression. So, lambda is equal to h by square root of 2m into kinetic energy. 2m into kinetic energy. So, this is the another expression for calculating the wavelength of the de Broglie's wavelength. De Broglie's wavelength. Right. So, this is another expression. Now, third one is, one more expression is there. One more expression is there. That is, let a charged particle, let a charged particle, let a charged particle, for example, electron is an accelerator, is accelerated Accelerated with a accelerated with a potential V with a potential V. Potential V. Then kinetic energy is given by kinetic energy is given by E into V. Right? Where E V is the applied potential, E is the charge of the particle. Charge of the particle. Suppose if it is electron, that is we are writing it as E. Right? So charge of the particle. Generally, charge is denoted with Q. If we assume that it is electron, right? Then if I substitute in that term, lambda is equal to H by square root of 2m into in place of kinetic energy, I am writing 2m into Q into Q. 2m into Q into Q. So for charged particles of charge Q, the wave develop this wavelength is given by lambda is equal to H by square root of 2m into Q. Right? So this is another expression. So, so far we have seen lambda is equal to h by mv. This is one expression. Lambda is equal to h by p. Lambda is equal to h by square root of 2m into kinetic energy. Lambda is equal to h by 2m into q into p. All these are the expressions we have seen. So, uh, for our simplification, if you take for electron, for electron, if you have mass of electron and q are fixed, and h is a constant, then lambda is given by 12.27 by square root of e times per electron. So if you take for proton, for proton, lambda is given by 0 0.286 by square root of e into angstrom units. And for alpha particles, for alpha particles, lambda is given by Lambda is given by 0 0.1011 into square root of V. So, uh, these three expressions, one direct bit added in a pudu, one electron cutting taken up, applied potential is taken up, wavelength. And then the H value of substitute chase simplify chatum. In the chala time consuming property, these formulas must be opioid. Even uh, for gas molecules, if you take, for gas molecules, gas molecules wavelength is given by per gas molecules wavelength is given by lambda is equal to h by square root of h by 3m into so this is the expression for the wavelength of wavelength of particles or gas molecules gas molecules where here the k is Boltzmann constant and its value is 1.38 into uh, minus x second. That k is a Boltzmann's constant. K is a Boltzmann's constant. Right? So these are the some expressions associated with the de Broglie's, de Broglie's uh, the dual nature of matter. So even me put a mark object to point of view, which is important. We may the bit allow was done the book on the bit look, you put a mark for the bottom. So the momentum of a particle. The momentum of a particle 
moving with moving with moving with particle per particle of wave length wave length one angstrom meters right lambda is given one angstrom meter so this is the answer solution is here lambda is given one angstrom meter and we know that h is equal to 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joules right so here lambda is equal to h by mv we know that h by p so here lambda is p adge and p is equal to mv h by lambda and h is 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joules second right and here uh, wavelength is given one angstrom minute so here 10 to the power of minus one angstrom minute means uh, this is 10 to the power of minus 10 minutes right this is 10 then if i substitute all these values matters right so we know that 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 24. We know that one joule is equal to kg meter square second power minus, right? So this is here second is there. That's why here I can write one joule. This in this expression, one joule second is equal to how much? Kg meter square second power minus one. So in the Kendo Koda metro on the government, metro metro cancel it with the units kz meter second. So this is the answer for this question. A gram suni kz low kanaka is Value of the P is equal to six point six two five into ten to the power of minus twenty seven gram centimeter square second power minus two into second by so here i have to take in centimeters 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeters so if i substitute 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 19 gram centimeters per second it becomes so idi ante ikkada wavelength ichi em adigadu wavelength ichi momentum calculate cheyamani adigadu em adigadu wavelength ichi momentum calculate cheyamani so ila manaki adagatana avakasam undi meeku Adi Vadan, Inkok Bitro Tamote. Inkok Bitro Tamote. Inkok Bitro Tamote. A hydrogen molecule. A hydrogen molecule. And hydrogen molecule and helium atom. Helium atom. Are moving with the. Moving with. The, moving with the. Same velocity. Same velocity. Moving with the same velocity. The ratio of their. The ratio of their. De Broglie's wavelengths. De Broglie's wavelengths. Wavelengths is. De Broglie's wavelengths is. A hydrogen molecule. A hydrogen molecule. And a helium atom are moving with the. Same velocity. The ratio of their de Broglie's wavelength is. The ratio of their de Broglie's wavelength is. So we know that the solution is we know that lambda is equal to h by m. Right? So for hydrogen, I am writing lambda h2 is equal to h by m h2 into e h. Right? Similarly, h is equal to h by m h into V H. This is mass of hydrogen molecule. V is the velocity of hydrogen molecule. Given that V H2 is equal to V H. So lambda H E by H2 by lambda H E is equal to we will get M H E by M H. So we know that atomic mass of hydrogen helium is 4 and hydrogen is 1, H2 is 2. That's why answer is 2 is 2, 2 by 1. So lambda wavelength of hydrogen. Lambda H is equal to P is to one. So you can monkey, you can name wavelength ratio to get you can a kinetic energies ratio to get you, right? Kinetic energies ratio to get you. Lay than take on a candy. Velocity is it is a wavelength it is mass it is a wavelength to get you, right? So this is a one more type of problem.
let me explain one more problem now then we will move one more problem please note down the problem that is if the kinetic energy of if the kinetic energy of protons increase the kinetic energy of proton is increased nine times increase nine times the wavelength of the wavelength of de broglie the wavelength of de broglie wave associated associated with it would would get option selected into 3 times 9 times 1 by 3 times 1 by 9 times if the kinetic energy of if the kinetic energy of proton is if the kinetic energy of proton is increased 9 times kinetic energy of proton is increased 9 times the wavelength of de broglie's wave associated with would be become right so kinetic energy in kanaka 9 times pinchite kanaka wavelength ee vidhanga maarthundi ani cheptu so manaki in the kemon expression this is anti lambda is equal to h by square root of 2m into kinetic energy 2m into kinetic energy so ikkada h constant to 2 constant to mass constant ante lambda is inversely proportional to square root of kinetic energy so idin nunchi em raichu lambda 1 by lambda 2 is equal to square root of ke2 by ke1 square root of ke2 by ke1 so manaki ఇప్పుడు లాండా వన్ ఇనీషియల్ గా లాండా టూ ఫైనల్ గా కెంటిక్ ఎనర్జీని ఎన్ టైమ్స్ పెంచాడు అన్నాడు నైన్ టైమ్స్ పెంచాడు అంటే కేఈ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు నైన్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ కెంటిక్ ఎనర్జీ నైన్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ కెంటిక్ ఎనర్జీ నైన్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ కెంటిక్ ఎనర్జీ సో అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది అని మనకంటే ఇక్కడ దాంట్లో సబ్స్ట్యూట్ చేస్తే లాండా వన్ బై లాండా టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు నైన్ కేఈ వన్ బై కేఈ వన్ కేఈ వన్ కేఈ వన్ క్యాన్సిల్ అంటే రూట్ రూట్ నైన్ అంటే దిస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ అంటే Final lambda 2 is equal to 1 by 3 of lambda. And the wavelength and the final wavelength to 1 by 3 times of the initial wavelength. So, we have to ask the objective point of view of questions. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry Classes. You can solve these concepts and you can solve these doubts. Feel free to contact them. As at the earliest, I will try to respond. Thank you. for watching Trinath Chemistry Classes.